What were you saying about this block? All right, so there's little two papers on oh, over there. Oh, that knee sounded horrible. Huh? Oh. There's two little papers that are over there. Huh? Um, one of them is turned sideways to stop the mulch from spilling out. The other one is straight up and down. That's 16 inches. It goes all the way to the bottom of the trench. There's a trench right there. Oh. Eight inches wide, 16 inches long, or 16 inches deep. And it runs all the way around that planting area. A grand total of 72, 72 feet. So far. So that explains what the turf wall is for. Oh, we'll go look at that in a minute. <laughs> no, that's so that whenever I have excess dirt that doesn't go, that I don't have room for on top of the planting, as, planting beds right now, I've got a place where I can put it. Wow. And then later on, I can transfer it up there on top of the beds. Any quarters? No, no, no vintage change. Oh, if you know that would be awesome. No vintage change. It's just a Can't tell you square kind of jar. No labels, no markings, no nothing. Oh, oh on the bottom. On the bottom we got something. It What's says it say? mayonnaise. Can you see that my friend? I got you real zoomed in. <laughs> okay, if you know what this is, tell me. What do you think it is, Jason? Patent applied for. <laughs> Should say mayonnaise or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just says patent applied for, not mm. not patented. Patent applied for. Well, it. Alrighty then. So it's a it's a jar. Take that down to glass. the flea market. <laughs> it's old. You sell it for a dollar. Sell it for a dollar at the flea market. <laughs> Yeah. Turn it upside down, stick it in your post. Bang. There you go. Boop. That was cute. Okay. Yeah. Now what you doing? Now you're gonna use the dirt bag to do that. Okay. We won't show his butt crack. <laughs> Speed bump. <laughs> Not for yours, nor yours. We'd like to have. Solid wheels. Oi. Yeah, you can tell those aren't the original They're wheels. Perfectly sized. Just to make do. So we've got a plum and what else here? This one's plum. Morris plum. Well, what's in that one then? If that's... That one's uh, Shanxi Lee jujube. And the little one there is Coco jujube. Uh, the other three over there is a Ozark plum. But where are you dumping the dirt? There's nothing there? No, nothing yet. Yeah. Future planning area. Right. Here it's my room. Sort of goes along with the plum tree. Yeah. Just like all these other spots. Ooh. You almost got me with the rake. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm not the kind of tool. <laughs> so, yeah, even though we don't need a whole lot of space around the, around the surface here, we have lots of other surface area there. This is room to plant other things. Perennials? Uh, some, yeah, some perennials, some annual. There's something you might so want to. A mix of the two, like maybe some peanuts. Of course, always to peanuts. To give me some nitrogen fixtures and another crop. Always peanuts. When in doubt, put a peanut in. <laughs> they grow anywhere. You got space to plant anything, plant peanuts. Peanuts. Because they're fat, proteins, good for you. Oh, speaking of peanuts. I was thinking about your mulch and how cool that was. You planted the peanuts in the dirt, but then the peanuts shot down into the mulch. So when you pulled them up, the peanuts were clean and they came up easy. So it's kind of like you planted in the mulch. <laughs> Sorry. That's where the extra dirt's gonna go. So, oh, yeah. There you go. I just put that dirt on the top of this planting area. Mm -hmm. This is actually what? sod that I flipped upside down. Oh. That was a lot of work. It's actually it's actually sod that I've turned upside down or spots where we oh, so my glass. There's glass everywhere. I don't know who lived here before, but I don't think they threw they're, anything they, away. They buried they buried the trash whenever there's a broken glass or anything, they buried it. So we're always digging the ground. Thanks, Bert. <laughs> anyway. Their little collection. So we have yeah. all, all, all these raised bed areas are the same. We took we took the, the two the two to four inches worth of turf that we built up 
and then use the manuring he fork did to, that. to strip it off. I just watched. Uh, occasionally I've come across bits and pieces of the newspaper that we put down for sheet mulching in the first place. That's that's actually from the, the grassroots of the turf that we grew. So we grew two to in, between two and four inches. And then I stripped that off and flipped those over on the areas where we're going to be planting. That built us up to here. And then we come along with the dirt from, from those trenches that we're digging out. We put that on top. So we have a few inches of of, of just regular soil on the top of that. So this, and we're here we've got for books. Decomp decomposition going down here, a bunch of worms, everything else at this <laughs> level. And then at this level, this is where we started planting. And that's about, oh, nine, nine inches to a foot above grade. And we'll build the uh, the wood chip up to level with that. So well, we'll, so we'll, we'll finish it. off with <laughs> we'll finish off with more wood chips. Whenever it's all said and done, my yard will actually hold water. We will, yeah, it'll hold more more water and also sit. Uh, at the end of probably by the end of next year, we'll be a foot higher than we are today. Good grief! You're gonna let a plan there. <laughs> I guess he's not getting any younger. He. Do, 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 do. Oh, crack. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. I'm trying to do like a, a 10 to 12 times neighbor, Mr. Wilson, over the fence kind of thing. Yep. Or the way uh, what's his nuts, uh, Aquarius always does his with his hands talking. For following your feet and your, your hands. How are my YouTube friends? I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> Stop it. All right, later. I'll get back to you in just a minute. 